In this video, I'm going to show how to detect trend line breaks and how that can be approximated by Bollinger Bands on a higher time frame. So let's take a look at uh, TVIX on August 15th, 2018. We have two trend lines drawn, uh, one sloping down. The trend line is broken here. And then this one sloping up where the trend line is broken solidly here on this bar. Now, if we look at a 30-minute uh, chart, we can uh, see how this trend line break is approximated by uh, this following uh, simple algorithm. Basically, if it goes below, or if the previous 30-minute bar is uh, below the lower band, and then it closes above the middle band, then we can see here that that approximates the uh, break of the, of the trend line. On the, so the close here, or the middle line here, is 40.38. And the close here are the, uh, is about 40.37. So, and let's take a look at the reverse condition. We see that uh, it's broken here at uh, the low of this bar is or the middle uh, Bollinger Band is 40.69, and the low here is 40.19. And we can see that the low of this bar is 40.19. So the way that you can uh, construct an algorithm that uh, uses the Bollinger Bands is you, you have a condition that says, OK, the previous 30-minute bar is less than the lower Bollinger Band, and then the five-minute close above the middle Bollinger Band, you go long. And then the re reverse is that you do the opposite. You say uh, the previous bar is above the upper Bollinger Band, and then the five-minute close is below the middle Bollinger Band. So let's take a look at how we uh, construct that. So here we have the Bollinger Band uh, indicator. And here, we're just taking the offset. The offset function just looks back one bar. So we have the offset back one bar of the upper, middle, and lower. And we also have, on the five-minute time frame, uh, the previous five-minute bar close. So let's just take a look at the STX V12, which is a, this is the long entry conditions, and these are the short entry conditions. So these first three relate to the volume. And uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. And, and uh, the volume and also making sure that the when you make an entry that the ask and the bid are not too far apart so that you get a decent entry. And this is also making sure that the uh, you will get a decent entry. So let's take a look at the long entry here condition. This is the first one saying that the low, previous 30 minute low is less than the previous Bollinger Band lower shifted back. So that's the condition where we're saying this is lower than the low is lower than the, uh, the lower Bollinger Band. And then the second condition is we want the previous five minute close to be greater than the uh, Bollinger Band middle. So that's the long condition. The short condition is we want the high, previous high of the 30 minute bar. That would be this one to be higher than the upper Bollinger Band shifted. And then the next condition is Five minute close is, or the previous five minute bar close is less than the Bollinger Band middle. So, line. So, that's that condition that says that it has to be below that. Now, you just activate the module. So, now you, when you start loading symbols, you have all the symbols that you want to detect for this set of conditions. So you 
start in real time and start scanning the uh, data it will, and uh, it will alert these and uh, when the conditions are met. Now one thing I would add to this is that a lot of times it will bounce between the Bollinger Bands if it's just consolidating. So there might be a good condition to add to this and that is that to make sure that the uh, Bollinger Bands are separated by a certain amount, I'd say like 2 to 2.5 percent. So let's just add that real quickly and I'll show how that's done. So let's go to the configure conditions. I'm going to add a condition and I'm going to do the upper Bollinger Band going to divide that I'm going to divide that by the lower Bollinger Band and I'm going to require that that be greater than 2% or 1.02 I'm going to call this BB by 30 for the 30 minute time frame, BB5 upper div lower greater than 1.02. Going to save that. Now I will add that condition to both the long and the short conditions. And another restriction that you can add to this is you may want to only, only you may want to only go long on gaps up and short on gaps down. The way this currently is configured, it will go long or short on gaps up or gaps down. Or I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what kind of what kind of video you want to see next.